Hi guys, this is Michael from Theme Canon, and this is our video on how to set up the cost theme in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so let's say that you've just downloaded the cost theme bundle from Theme Forest. First, locate the downloaded zip file and unzip it. Now when you open the unzip folder, you'll see that it contains a lot more than just the theme itself. In the artwork folder, you'll find the theme PSD. In the content folder, you have demo files that you can use to easily populate your new theme with demo content. In the documentation folder, you have a zip version of the theme help files. Licensing folder contains various license information files. And finally, there is the theme folder which contains the theme file itself called cost underscore theme dot zip. Notice that we've also included a child theme, just in case you need to modify the main theme later on. Alright, now let's go ahead and log into WordPress. Right when you install WordPress, your site will display one of the WordPress default themes. In this case, it's the 2014 theme. To install the cost theme instead, go to Appearance, and themes. Select add new and then select upload. Browse to the location of the cost theme zip file. And click the install now button. Once the theme file has been installed successfully, you need to activate the theme. Go to Appearance, Themes, locate the newly installed cost theme and click Activate. When you activate the cost theme, you'll be notified to install required and recommended plugins. Click Begin Installing Plugins. And now simply install and activate each plugin on the list. Now once you're done, the notification at the top of the screen will disappear and you will now see the cost plugins on the main plugins page. Let's go ahead and see what the front end looks like right after you install the theme. As you can see, the cost theme is now active, but the site only contains one single example post. You can now either start adding your own content and build your new site from the bottom up, or you can install the demo content that comes bundled with the theme. Installing the demo content is an easy way to get up and running and to see live examples of how to build pages and content. To set up the demo content, go to the WordPress dashboard, select Tools, Import, and WordPress. Now browse to the demo content folder and select the content XML file. Click the Upload File and Import button and Submit. Now if you choose to download and import file attachments, the import process may take a while, even several minutes to complete. Please have patience while your browser is loading. Once the import process is complete, you'll notice a lot of error messages being displayed on the screen. This is quite normal when importing into WordPress, so don't be alarmed. You can ignore these as they only tell you that some content could not be imported because you have not yet installed plugins such as WooCommerce, Events Calendar, etc. However, rest assured that the core demo content that we need to get started has in fact been imported correctly. And you can check this by going back to the front end and refresh your site. Now the first thing you might notice is that the menu looks a bit strange. This is because you need to assign a menu to the theme. 
So go back to dashboard, select appearance, menus, scroll to the bottom, and assign the main menu to your theme. Remember to save and now go back to the front end to see the result. As you can see, the default front page is actually a block. To change this and instead use the theme-specific front page, go back to the dashboard, select Settings, Reading. Change Front Page Displays to Static Page and select Home as your front page. Save changes and return to the front end. The theme specific homepage is now in place, but one important piece of content is missing the revolution slider at the top. To fix this, go to the dashboard, revolution slider, and select to import slider. Navigate to the slider HTML file located in the contents folder and click the import slider button. You now have a new slider called home page and if you return to the front end you'll see that this slider is automatically used at the top of the front page. Now the last thing you need to do is to import the theme settings. This will give you the same colors and option settings that we use on our preview side. To do this, go to Dashboard, select Cost Settings, Advanced, and scroll to the bottom. Here you'll see the Import Export section. You now need to navigate to your demo content folder and open up the file called Settings Text. Copy the export code and paste it into the Settings Data window. Click Import Settings Data and Confirm. All your theme options are now set up exactly like on our preview side. And if you go back to the front end, you'll see that the theme colors and settings are now matching our preview side. All that remains now is to set up your widget areas. And that concludes our tutorial video on how to install and set up the cost theme in less than 10 minutes. We hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching and see you soon.